five do's and don'ts of marketing your new business. Number one, do understand your customers better. Jenna needs to go deeper to understand her customers' needs and interests. Doing so will help her show them how her products can solve their problems. And then she'll be able to tailor her marketing efforts to effectively reach out to them. Now, number two, don't ignore the competition. Keep an eye on what they're doing and learn from it to offer unique solutions to your customers. But don't copy them like Jenna did because it can backfire. Remember, what works for others may not work for you. And this leads us to number three. Do pay attention to what you say and how you say it. This means that you have to be mindful of your marketing messages. For example, if you claim that your product can do something, make sure that it can actually deliver on that promise. Making false or misleading claims can damage your reputation and erode the trust that your customers have in you. And thankfully, Jenna didn't do this. And sadly, there are some businesses that give exaggerated claims about their products. So keep in mind that honesty is always the best policy. And now for number four, don't focus too much on selling. People don't like to be constantly bombarded with sales pitches. So instead of always trying to sell something, focus on building relationships with your customers. Make them feel valued and soon this will lead to more sales in the long run. And lastly, number five, do take advantage of social media. Go where your customers are. Utilizing the power of social media can help promote your business. If you're on Facebook, you can create a business page for a start. And this is a great way to attract potential buyers to build credibility. I reminded Jenna that she has to be consistent in posting her washable diapers and engaging online. Now, you can also use paid advertising in the future when your budget allows it. And those are the five do's and don'ts of marketing your new business. 